Hello Warrior Clan hope y'all doing fine. Today, we looking at a character recently added to the DC movie roster known of the Weasel. As seen in Suicide Squad. In the Suicide Squad franchise, several members of Task Force X debated the true nature of Weasel. The ideas ranged from TDK's suggestion he was an Afghan hound, but Harley Quinn eagerly wanting him to be a werewolf. In truth, according to Rick Flagg, he was simply an anthropomorphic weasel. Unfortunately, he didn't shed much further light than that. As such, it wasn't made clear whether he was some kind of naturally mutated animal or a purposeful experiment akin to a dark mirror of Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. Whatever the case, Weasel had since become a prolific killer of children, with them likely drawn in by his cartoonish appearance before tragically discovering his true nature. In that regard, his sharp fangs were likely his weapon of instinct. No other abilities were shown. In the comics, Weasel was actually a costumed identity embodied by a man named John Monroe. Debuting in 1985's The Fury of Firestorm No. 35, the bitter and put-upon Monroe was forced to join the Suicide Squad after committing a string of murders around Vandermeer University, where he worked as a teacher. With a capacity for transformative delusion not dissimilar to James McAvoy's Kevin Wendell Crumb and Split, however, Monroe went through an almost metamorphosis when in costume. He displayed enhanced speed, agility, and strength. Those manifested abilities were also complemented by a range of sharp claws that Monroe personally weaved into the weasel costume for use against his victims and to climb almost any structure. As such, he was a more premeditated killer and less a mindless animal weasel's time among Task Force X was hilariously short-lived in the Suicide Squad. Not long after arriving off the coast of Cordo Maltese, he was dropped into the ocean alongside the rest of the team, only for it to be revealed that he can't actually swim. Though he's recovered by Savant, Weasel was declared to have drowned and his body left to rot on the beach. After the dust had settled on the final battles, however, a pre credit scene revealed that Weasel had actually survived his original ordeal. After coughing up the water, he clambered back to his feet and scurried gleefully into the jungles of Cordo Maltese. What happened next was that Weasel likely went back to his naturally predatory and murderous ways, claiming a host more victims. As such, he'll no doubt become the island's new local legend following Starro being revealed as the Beast of Jotunheim and its subsequent defeat. There is a chance that Amanda Waller, upon learning of Weasel's revival, could recapture him yet again for future missions. Given that she only really intended him to be distracting cannon fodder, though, she probably wouldn't bother. Similarly, given the attitudes established in the Suicide Squad, she'd probably not even waste time detonating the bomb in his head. Instead, Waller would view him as Cordo Maltese's problem now. Should James Gunn decide to craft a more direct follow-up to the Suicide Squad, however, there's always a chance Weasel could return to fight or just die another day. Hope you all enjoyed today's warrior recap. Please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content. See you next time. Peace out.